A couple of weeks ago, I had someone reach out to me regarding use of the Font Awesome font. And for those that don't recall, Font Awesome is a series of icons, hundreds of icons as a matter of fact, contained within a regular TrueType font. And what I found in my initial use of using Font Awesome is that I was quite successful in publishing my e-learning courses uh, for non-responsive design because all of that text would get converted into images anyway. But where I wasn't able to use Font Awesome was when I tried to use things like uh, icon controls within my e-learning uh, that was intended for responsive design projects. And here's an example of this. I've just published this particular project and uh, I've uploaded it to my Amazon S3 server. And if you take a look here, I'll just show you on my my desktop, or sorry, on my iPad here, so you can see uh, what we're talking about here. Let's just get this within range. You can see that none of those icons along the bottom have shown up in this particular project. So uh, it's not working. So after a little bit of research, I found that there is in fact a solution. So you can see here on my desktop, you know, I've got the icons set up. I've got a back button. I've got a, a reset button. I've got a submit button. I just used a check mark and a, and a next button as well. So that all will work fine. But here's the thing is that I need to publish this project and do a small change. So the first thing I had to do is I had to go over to the Font Awesome website. Let me just bring up that window here. And the first step is to go to the Get Started tab right here. And all you need to do really is uh, input an email address that you wish to use. And then send my Font Awesome embed code. You need this embed code and you need to put it in your index.html file. So let me show you what that process is like. So I've got this pretty much ready to go. I'm going to publish it for devices and we'll just uh, publish this to my desktop for the time being. I don't need to view the output. I'm going to minimize um, Captivate. And I'm going to go into the folder I just created where the uh, published project is. And we're going to edit the index.html file. And you can do this by opening it up in Notepad or some other type of uh, editing tool. And uh, I'm just going to maximize that. Temporarily, I'm just going to go to my Microsoft uh, email outlook. And I'm going to copy the script the embed code that was sent to me from the Font Awesome folks. And just after my head entry here in my HTML file, I'm going to paste that content in there. And I'm going to close that and not forgetting to hit save, of course. And now what I can do is I can drag and drop this using my Cloudberry Explorer for Amazon S3 or whatever FTP software you're using. I'm just going to drag this over to the server. It's going to prompt me um, to write over top of the previous files that are there. That's okay. I'm going to say yes to all. And it's going to update that. And once that's complete, I'm going to use my tablet again. And we're just going to reload that particular page and see if that font awesome iconography shows through. So as you can see here from before, um, you know, none of my icons showed through. So let's just refresh this page. And now you can see because I've included the appropriate embed code, I have the font awesome icons included just as regular text captions or smart shapes in my e-learning project. So I can 
you know, and it's completely compatible with responsive design. You may have to play with the font size to make sure that it works properly. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.